guys, welcome back. First, I have to say that you did a great job last week uh, reading The Gingerbread Man. That was an easy book, uh, but you practiced uh, the words beginning with S plus consonant, uh, like student, where you don't have to say an E at the beginning of the word, like a student, you have to say student. And you also practice the regular verbs in the past ended on ed and the three different ways that we have to pronounce it and you did a really good job if you had some problems with that i told you in an email and told you to keep practicing everybody has to keep practicing that thing those two things because they are really important and i'm going to make you sound much better in your reading and in your speaking okay so today uh, last week i told you to start reading uh, bones i see in the channel that many of you have uh, read that story already and today we're going to concentrate on some comprehension questions about the book so i'm going to start by showing you the questions on the computer and you're going to have to answer them in an audio file okay so these are the questions uh for today okay uh, you have to answer these questions in your own words, using words, details, and information from the book. Question number one is, David is not happy with his partner for the museum visit. Explain why. You can find the answer for that question on chapter one. Something is wrong. There is a question for each chapter, okay? Question number two, what are the three types of dinosaurs that come alive in the museum? And in this one, you can find the answer in chapter two. But when you say the answer, both in all three questions, you have to say what's underlined. On question number one, you have to start your answer saying, David is not happy with his partner for the museum visit because, and then in your own words, you explain it. On number two, you're gonna start your answer saying, the three types of dinosaurs that come alive in the museum are, and then you say the three types of dinosaurs. Let's have a look at number three. Why did the aliens want to destroy the Earth? Now, because it's a question, the main verb is not in the past, because the past is here, remember? So you have to start your answer saying, the aliens wanted, that has to be in the past, the aliens wanted to destroy the earth because so you have to prepare the answer to the questions in your notebook um, and I'm going to show you how you can practice for your recording because remember you don't have to send me a photograph you have to send me the audio recording with your voice giving the answers so how can you prepare for that I'm going to show you right now on the computer you can go on Google and translate your and you can practice there. Let me show you. So if you go on Google, on the top of the page, there are some dots and there's a lot of apps there. If you go to translate or traductor, whatever you say, if you click on English or the text language, whatever you say, the program is gonna write it here. So we're gonna start with question number one. David is not happy with his partner for the museum visit. So I'm going to say that after I click on this little microphone and then it's going to write it here for me. Okay, that way I know if I am doing a good job reading. Okay, because if it understands me perfectly, I'm doing a good job. Okay, David wasn't happy with his partner for the museum visit. As you can see, it didn't understand everything. So I can do it again, okay? I can practice again. It doesn't take a lot of time. David wasn't happy with his partner for the museum visit. As you can see now, it understood everything I said. So this is something that you can use when you are practicing before you send me your recording. Okay, so that's a good tool to use uh, to see if you're doing a good job. Uh, and that's it. Those are the three answers uh, 
the three questions that you have to answer with details and words from the book, but also your own words. And remember, the answers don't have to be David wasn't happy with his partner for the missing visit because he, um, he didn't like him. No, use words and details from the book and explain your answers, okay? And that's the word for this week. I hope you have a good week. And I'll see you, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.